Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I share how to make a widu elegusi. This meal is very sweet oh, so if you don't eat it, please change your mind or think about it. It is delicious. To begin, I'm going to pick and wash the ewedu leaves. Ewedu leaves is also called jute leaves. It is slimy when it is cooked. Yeah, so in case you're wondering what it's called in English, it is called jute leaves. So while picking this, try not to add the stem to it, okay? So I'm going to do this until it is done. After picking the leaves, I'm going to wash them under running water just like so to get rid of any sand or dust. Sand is the last thing you want to bite into when you're eating your widow soup. So do this and then we're going to move on. But before then, if this is your first time here, I want to specially thank you for clicking to watch this video. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn your bell notification on so you'll be among the first to know anytime I might upload a new video. And to my returning subscribers, you guys are the best. Thank you for always watching. So to a pot of boiling water, I'm going to add some iru, also known as locust beans, followed by the washed ewedu leaves. Now you want the liquid in the pot and the leaf to be at the same level, so it's not so watery by the time you blend it. You can also add potash or baking soda if you want this to draw really well, but I'm not going to be using that today. So at this time, I'm going to add some egusi. You can see the quantity, it's not so much for this quantity of a widow. I have mixed the egusi with some of the liquid from the pot. You know, now it's into paste. I'm going to add that into the pot and let it cook down for another five to seven minutes or until the leaf is soft. I'm also going to add some seasoning cubes and salt. You can add crayfish if you prefer, but I'll not be adding that today as well. Another way to do this is to cook the egusi and iru for about 5 minutes before you add the leaves if you want to give the egusi enough time to cook. But again, this is almost an insignificant amount of egusi to give you a runny stomach, okay? But you can do it that way if you prefer. As you watch, please, please, please do not forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Click your bell notification so you can get all my videos as soon as I upload them. Thank you. After about 7 minutes, the widow is soft now. So if you want to go in with a broom, that's the Yoruba broom, this is the time to go in and mash it up. But I'm going to use my food processor. You also want to let it cool down a bit before you blend, okay? I'm going to use a pause setting so I don't over blend. If it's too smooth, mm, I don't really like it when it is too smooth. I like it roughly blended, okay? All done now, this is what it looks like. I'm going to transfer this into a pot. The gas was turned off, it wasn't on or anything, okay? So this is our Ewedu Elegusi. Kids will love this meal because it is slimy. I love it as well, okay? So there we have it. You're going to make your Amala. Or is there any other swallow that goes with Ewedu apart from Amala? Can you use a bar? Let me know in the comment section. So this is me making my Amala Dudu, okay? Once it is ready, I'm going to serve this over my um, a widow elegusi and some buka stew. You guys, it is delicious. You guys, it is delicious. Like I said, if you don't eat this meal, please think twice. Try it first. Close your eyes and try it. I'm sure you'll like it. Don't forget to send me pictures on Instagram at joyfulcook underscore if you get to try this out. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.